Hello and welcome to my comparison of the Samsung i600 and i780. Two excellent Samsung smartphones. Um, you're probably watching this if you, like me, are struggling to differentiate between the two of them and find out which is the better phone. Um, I struggle with the same thing, I currently own both the phones, so I'm in a position to make a comparison, hopefully this will be helpful for you. Firstly, size-wise, you can see they're similar sizes. This is the i600, it's got a QVGA screen. This one has got the extended battery in it, so it makes it slightly thicker, normally it would be a bit more thinner. That kind of thinness there you can see from the uh, from the top of the screen, but with the uh, with the extended battery you can see it gets quite a decent thickness. The um, extended battery, in my opinion, is is mandatory. The standard battery doesn't last. Uh, it lasts just about a day. If you're doing a lot of emails and a lot of data, you won't even get a day's uh, usage out of it. The i780, very similar size. Let's put them together so you can see. Height-wise, the i780 is slightly bigger. Thickness-wise, I'd say it's slightly thinner than the i600 with the extended battery. However, it will be thicker than the i600 with the standard battery. Width-wise, again, slightly bigger than the i600. So, yeah, pretty similar size. Both pocketable phones. Not like the, um, for example, the uh, HCC Titan 2 or something that kind of size, which is something you'd need to carry on a belt clip um, rather than sticking in your pocket. Me personally, I need to have a phone uh, which will go in my pocket and I can carry in a suit occasionally, uh, but also on the weekend I can stick in a pair of jeans and it won't look like I've got, um, you know, I've got a gun in my front pocket. So um, that size wise, you can see the differences in the screen size. The um, i600, this phone here, has the, uh, the QVGA, which is 240 by 320 I believe. Um, the i780 uh, has the square screen, which is fairly unusual, a 320 by 320 pixel screen, which is obviously a nicer size because it's bigger. However, I've noticed some compatibility issues with software, which won't run on a square screen. Um, so something to be, to be wary of when uh, purchasing or trying out software for this phone. Um, so in terms of usage, let's start with the i600, I've been using this for a bit longer. Um, personally, I, I really like this phone. I like this, oh, just got an email there. I, personally, I, like the, uh, I like the size of it, it feels very good, it feels very solid. I've got this numerous type, number of times and it always um, carries on working with no problem. It's got a couple of bumps and scratches on it, but um, it's a very, very solid, very dependable workhorse of a phone. Um, I use it as a normal cell phone, but I also use it um, to pick up emails on the go. Um, I have it connected to my um, corporate email account, which uses um, Microsoft Push Email, um, and also have it connected to uh, numerous other accounts, for example, Yahoo Mail, Google Mail, uh, Windows Live Mail, um, and it picks up all of those as well without any problems. You can see a close up. The six Outlook mails in there uh, unread. Um, to Yahoo and uh, Five Live. Um, I also have the, uh, the Gmail account as I mentioned on there as well. And you can set up a number of accounts. I'm not even sure how many. I've had up to six or seven on there at one point, and it, uh, it connects to them all perfectly well using whichever data connection you have. Where at the um, Wi-Fi, uh, it's got um, BNG on here, and it's got HSDPA, GPRS, 3G. Pretty much all of the data connectivity options are available on this phone. Now, um, if you haven't used um, Microsoft um, Push Email, it's basically, in my opinion, the same, if not better, than the BlackBerry system because it's free. Um, so, if I get an email in my uh, corporate uh, inbox, which uses um, Microsoft um, Exchange, that email will land on my handset before it will land on my laptop or my PC with Outlook, which is connected up to a corporate LAN, so very, very fast. Um, and you can read your emails, um, see the attachments, respond to them, do everything you can uh, on a laptop, but with this phone. So in that respect, it's a fantastic uh, um, feature to have. Um, 
a lot of smartphones have got push email now. I think it's pretty much essential if you use corporate email. Now, functionality wise, um, it runs Windows Mobile 6 standard, which is the non touchscreen version of Windows Mobile. Um, some of these did ship with Windows Mobile 5, but they are available to uh, free update from the Samsung website. So if yours is running uh, WM5, go to samsung.com and you'll find out how to uh, upgrade it to 6. I have found that um, trying to get software for Windows Mobile 6 standard is a little bit difficult because a lot of the um, software providers don't um, differentiate between um, the standard Windows Mobile and the professional which is the touchscreen version which is uh, which is used on pocket PCs, stroke um, PDAs uh, and touchscreen smartphones um, so it can be a little bit problematic trying to get software that works uh, sometimes you'll download some software um, and it will say Windows Mobile compatible but when you get on it, you get it on your phone on this particular phone you'll find that you need a touchscreen so it doesn't work so it doesn't have a touchscreen but what it does have is this navigation pad here um, which is a four-way pad uh, you can see I'm moving in across the top here. I've got a, a shortcut piece of software here called All Kids Shortcut, which is quite good. Um, so you can see me going up, down, left, and right with this, and it's very quick um, to use this pad. Um, I suppose you'd call it a, a navigation pad or a D-pad or something. Uh, it's got an OK button in the middle as well. So scrolling through uh, the menus on this phone, it's pretty simple. Um, going up and down. Um, if I go into my settings there, you can see I'm going up and down. Um, it's pretty quick. Um, and it's also um, a home key here, which brings you back to this page here, which is the, the home page. Uh, it's got two soft keys here. Uh, you can see this one here, you can see the left and right the front. Um, and this one is the, the start button. Uh, on the side of the phone, it has this scroller here, which is similar to what you'll see on a lot of BlackBerry devices. I think this is a fantastic feature. It lets you scroll up and down very quickly, um, especially useful if you're navigating through a, a long email. Um, I find you can just whip down the email very quickly with this, um, and if you're just trying to scan read it, um, it's, it's very quick to do that. The button here on the side is a, a replication of this button here, which is basically a um, return to previous screen button, which again is useful. You can see me going back using it there. On here you'll see there's a micro SD slot. Uh, on the other side you have a proprietary stop slot for the charging and for the headphones and a volume um, control at the top there as well. Power at the top and um, that's probably a mic there. Um, or it could, oh, Sorry, the mic is here. Um, that's the i600. Now, one thing which I do like about this phone is the keypad. Um, you can see it's a full QWERTY keypad. Um, the keys are a nice size. Uh, once you get it in your hand, you can type away with your thumbs quite happily and pretty quickly as well. I've typed out quite long emails on this while I've been on the road. Um, and you can punctuate them and um, format them uh, quite reasonably. Um, and I've had emails where people have not realized I've been on the road. Um, because they come across as well formatted, punctuated emails. Because of the quality of the keypad, I think you can actually type quite a long email or quite a complicated email if it's got technical um, syntax in it, you can get it out on this keypad pretty quickly. The size of the keys is quite good. Um, I don't have enormous hands, but um, my thumbs fit quite well over these keys, so I, I quite like it.